a previous video I showed how we can generate uh, random integers using uh, Excel. I want to extend that discussion just a little bit right here. I want to look at the problem where we're trying to uh, simulate a rolling of three different dice. I call them the red R dice, blue dice, and green dice, R, B, G. And dice red has, has a normal six-sided die, but has two uh, uh, only three numbers. And each number is repeated, one, five, and nine, is repeated on two sides to cover all six faces of the die. Die B has these three numbers, two, six, and seven, and die G has three, four, and eight. So I want to explain how we can use Excel to actually simulate this experiment of rolling the three dice. Um, now let me move this off to the side, and here I have my Excel sheet. The first thing I want to do is I want to merge these first two cells so I can actually write down what it is that I want to uh, happen uh, in these two columns. So I click on the, the two cells like that. I go to the Format tool here, Format, Cells, and now Alignment. Now, this is the way it works in the particular ex version of Excel that I'm using, which um, is Excel uh, 2008 for Mac. And um, you know, every version of Excel seems to be a little bit different, just enough to uh, be confusing. Uh, so I'm going to merge these two cells. Now I'm going to label uh, this heading right here. I'm going to say red dice or red die, and then I'll put the numbers that it has. And the numbers on the red die were... 1, 5, and 9 right here. You see that? 1, 5, and 9. So these are my red dice 1, 5, 9. Okay. So how are we going to uh, simulate rolling a dice with three numbers and, and see what number comes up on the dice? Well, I'm going to go into this first column and I'm going to write a formula that uh, uh, will give me uh, th three integers, and then I will convert those integers into the roll of the dice. Okay, so here's what I do in this version of Excel. I do equal, and then I'll put a uh, quotation mark, and then I write equal again. Um, and uh, uh, I'm trying to decide if this is what I want to do or not. Ah, let me write it out. Um, integer, integer, open parentheses, then I do RAND for random number generator, and then close parentheses, and then another close parentheses. We have to have the same number of left and right parentheses, if you will recall. And then I put another uh, quotation like that. And that then is going to appear in this first cell. So this is the formula that I'm going to use in this first cell. Uh, but you know, there's a mistake here. Um, and uh, but uh, since because rand generates a number between a random number between zero and one. Now the integer, what the integer does is it throws away the part of the number to the right of the decimal and just keeping the integer part of the number. But RAND will always be a fraction between 0 and 1. Therefore, the integer on that will always be 0. So I have to do one more thing here. I have to put in 3 uh, multiply, just like that. Now that does it right there. OK. And let me move this over just a little bit here. Just like that. Okay, so this is the formula that I'm going to be writing now, right in here. So let me let me just copy that. I'm going to copy everything but the those uh, quotation marks. Copy. 
Now down here, oh, I did, got something wrong there. Edit, undo there. Now, okay. Now, let me put this down here. Now, because this formula here, as you can look at it up here, doesn't have the quotation marks, it will actually execute this formula. On this formula up here, when I have the quotation marks, it just takes it as a text input. So, this is the formula that's actually generated there. Let me hit return, and I again telling me there's an error because I need one more parenthesis on the right here. There. So here's our number, zero. So if we drag this down, we should get some other numbers. And the three possible numbers we should generate should be zero, one, and two. Now we have some twos there. We can see that. So this is now generating 10 random numbers in there. Now I want to put my formula in the second column right here. And I may need to make this a little bit bigger also. There, make that a little bit bigger just like that. Now the formula I'm going to put in here uh, is, is the if statement. And uh, let me write down what it is I want to do here. I'll first write to equal, and then I have the quotation mark, and then I have equal, and then I put if. Then open parentheses. And now I'm going to look at the number in uh, the first column. Here that number is, let's say, A2, uh, A2, A2. Now if A2, if that number is less than 1, and the only number which is less than 1 is 0, that number is less than 1, then I want to, the value I put in here is the value that will actually go into the cell. If the number is less than 1, I want to put the number 1 in the cell. So I'll put 1. Now, if the number is greater than 1, I put another number. I want to put another number. I either want to put, I'm sorry, I don't want to put uh, I don't want to put a one there. I want uh, yes, I do one. Now I want to put another number, but I don't know what number I want to put. Do I want to put a five or do I want to put a nine? One of those two. So I'll put in. In order to do that work, I put in yet another if statement. If now let me write uh, uppercase because that's what re what it really should be here, and then an uppercase here. If Okay, if, now open parentheses, open parentheses, if A2, A2 is less than 2, or it's less than 2. So that means this number, A2, can be either a 0 or a 1. Either one of those is less than 2. But if the number uh, were a zero, this condition would have been satisfied, and the first if statement would never get to executing the second if statement. Because if this, if this condition is two, it just outputs the value of one. Okay, so when I get here, we already know that this condition is not true. So now I'm checking to see, is it less than two or not? If it is less than two, I want to put a 5, and then if it's not less than 2, I want to put a 9. Okay, now how many left-facing parentheses? I have two, so I want two right-facing parentheses here, like that. So I need to put a, uh, another parentheses right here. And I um, mean, sorry, another quotation mark there like that. Now hit return. So I now have this in there. Let me move this over. 
still. Okay, it's better like that. Okay, now I want to put this formula, except I want to be looking at A3 instead of, uh, of A2, which is here. So let me just click on this here and copy everything but the quotation mark. I do that all the time there. Let me hit return. Now, put down what I just copied. Everything but the quotation mark. But it shouldn't be, it's A2. I don't want A2. I want it to be A3. There, like that. Now hit return. Okay, now. This says a number one uh, here and a number nine here. So is that correct? Is that what I'm trying to get there? And it seems like that isn't what I want. What I want is if um, A2, this should be A3. This is A1, this is A2. Okay, need to fix that. Let's see, this should be A3. This should be, make sure it's A3. A3, and this should be A3. Here, 3, now hit return. Now a 2 goes to a 9 just like it should. A 1 should go to a 5, so let's copy that down. Oh, well now this is a 2 and that's a 1. 1 to a 5. So let me just copy all these down just like that. Okay, so all these 2's turn to 9, the 0 turns to 1, the 1 turns to 5, uh, and this formula is giving me the result that I want. Okay, now, over here, uh, I now want to do, let's say, the, uh, the blue die, which has 2, 6, and 7. So let me do that right here. Um, let me merge these two cells, just like I did a moment ago. Click them both, format, cells, merge cells, OK, there. And now I'm going to type in here, die, blue die, and then put in the numbers that the blue die is supposed to have, which are 2, 6, and 7. Blue die, two comma six comma seven. Okay, now I I just want to repeat a process similar to what I just did here. I want to generate a new set of random numbers. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Copy it. And then right here, I'll put it there. Okay, something happened here. Okay, what I want to do, I put it there by mistake, I guess. Now let me try copying it here. And this is integer three times random, and I get a zero. So this is another set of random numbers. I'll pull it down here, just like that. Okay, now what's wrong with this here? It's not liking this formula here for some reason, so I click on it. Inconsistent formula. Help on this error. Oh, it gets me to Microsoft Office help, which I've never found to be good for anything. MA3, I think that's okay.
yoga. Okay, now let me type in here. What I want to put in here is another if statement like this. But instead of uh, A, I want to put in, let me just copy this statement. Yeah, I'll copy this one. Like that, copy. Now I'll paste, put it here. Okay, now, since this formula is the same formula that I had here, I'm going to get the same number that I had here. But I don't want that, that because I don't want A3. What I want is C3 now. So let me change that to C and change this to C. So that changes that C. And now the numbers I want are 2, 6, and 7. So I want this to be 2. That number to be 2, and then this number to be 6, and this number to be 7, just like that. 2, 6, and 7. Return. Okay, so now I got 2. A 0 gives me a 2. Let me copy this down. Okay, 0 gives me a 2, a 1 gives me a 6, a 2 gives me a 7. That seems to be working right, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, now, now I do the same thing for the green die. So I want um, green, merge these two cells, format cells, merge cells, okay. What I'm going to type in here is green die. And the green die is supposed to have 3, 4, and 8. Green die. 3, 4, 8. There's the green die. Now, I'm going to use these formulas here again as before, except this time. From, so first, let me just generate the random numbers. Okay, so I generate the random numbers. I use the same formula that I used here. Copy return. Let me paste it in here. Paste. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to roll this down. Just like that. So I have 1, 2, 0. Now what do I want to put here? What I want to put here is the another set of if statements. So what are the if statements that I want there? I want something like this. Let me copy it. Copy. Then return. Now go back over here and I'll paste it. Okay, but I don't want C3, which is this. What I want is D3. So I want D3 here and here, D3, D3, D3. Now I don't want 2, 6, and 7. What I want is 3, 4, and 8. So let me fix that. D3, D3. 3, 4, and 8, just double checking. So I put 3, 4, 8. And now I'll carry, drag these down. Oh, not giving me the right thing here. 
of D3 less than 1, I get a 3. So this should, for example, this should be a 3. And this is saying D4, oh, yep, this should be E and not D. Okay. And it's not D4, it should be E3. 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 Is E2 wrong? You know, I know what happened here. 3, E3. It turned there. Three, four, and eight. Three, four, and eight. E three zero should be a three. Now let me drag this down. It's no good. There. Zero should be a three. Two should be an eight. Zero should be a three. Two should be an eight. One should be a four. Why not? E seven. E7 is a 1. Well, for some reason it says 32 here, not E3. Why am I having problems? Okay. Two, three, three, okay, eight, three, three, two goes to eight, two goes to eight, zero goes to three, one goes to four. Finally, we got this right. Okay, so these are the roles of our three different die as illustrated right here. And the general format for the formula I'm using, I wrote here. Now let's just here just double check to make sure that everything is right. Okay, now these are the rolls of the dice for my red dice. One, five, five, nine, nine, five, 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 nine, five. And the red dice should give me a one, five, and a nine. So one gives me a one. Um, five, zero goes to one, one goes to five, one goes to five, two goes to nine. 1 goes to 5, 1 goes to 5, 1 goes to 5, 2 goes to 9, 1 goes to 5. So this seems right. Okay, now the blue dice should give me 2, 6, and 8. Yeah, I have them written up here. So 1 goes to 6, 0 goes to 2, 1 goes to 6, 1 goes to 6, 0 goes to 2, I'm um, sorry, 2, 6, and 7, 2 goes to 7, 1 goes to 6, 0 goes to 2, 2 goes to 7, 1, okay. Now, 3, 4, and 8. 2 goes to 8, 0 goes to 3, 0 goes to 3, 2 goes to 8, 3, 3, 1 should go to 4, 2 goes to 8. So these all, three, these all seem to be correct. Now, notice right in here, this, this in, in, uh, in Excel represents this little green uh, symbol here is the equivalent of... Uh, telling you there's something wrong. So let's look this up. Inconsistent formula, copy formula from the left, help this error, inconsistent, so checking options. It's not very helpful, is it? I think an inconsistent formula might be what it's trying to tell me. Well, but notice it doesn't give me the error over here, but it gives me the error 
in this column and this column. So ignore error. So let me just highlight all these. And ignore error. Same thing over here. Highlight them all. Ignore error. OK, I'm not quite sure what it doesn't like about those formulas. So uh, we do a little spot check. A 1 should go to a 5. 1 goes to a 5. A 6 should go to a 5 on this one. I mean, a, a 1 should go to a 6. A 1 goes to a 6. On this one, a 1 should go to a 4. 1 goes to 4. So these seem to be right. So here I have simulated now the rolling of our three different set of dice. And um, now um, we would want to check to see, you know, we roll each dice once, and then which die wins? If we compare a blue, uh, a red die, here's the red, and here's the blue, and here's the green. You know, it might be helpful, actually, to shade um, the, uh, the cell. So we want this to be the red die. So I go over here, and I'll do a pick red. So the numbers show up red there. I want this to be the blue die. So I go here like this. There. And then I change those to blue. And then I want this to be the green die. So I go here, and I will change that to green. There we are. Now, the next thing we have to do here is we have to determine uh, it's which numbers win between any two dice. So here we have the red dice is a 1 and the blue dice is a 6. So if we make this column, let's say, red versus blue. So red versus blue. So that's that. Now here we see which one is bigger. Is uh, red bigger or is blue bigger? So let's try to do this with another if statement. So I'm going to put equals if. So if this is bigger than this, my outcome is red. Now, what I don't know is can I type red or not? Let me put it in quotes. Quote, R-E-D, and then an end quote, and then comma, if it's not true, I want blue, quote, B-L-L-U-E, and then I'll put a quote, and then close paren, hit return. Okay, that works. It types blue. So 6 is greater than 1, we got blue. Let me drag this down. So now 9 is greater than 2, I get red. 9 is greater than 6, I get red. 5 is greater than 2, I get red. Uh, 1 is less than 2, I get blue. Now you see how that works. Let me just drag it down one more. Okay, now, now with this setup, you can now s uh, set up the rest of your columns to do uh, the comparisons of the red versus the green dice and the blue versus the green dice. Okay, now. That's it for this